Hi, I'm Katie from Ornamental Trees and in this guide I'm going to show you how to prune ornamental trees. Pruning helps to keep trees healthy, promote better growth and enhance their natural shapes, especially when they are young. Before you get started, the first thing to note is that different species have different pruning requirements, so make sure to do some extra research before you get to work. This video will be a more general pruning guide aimed at ornamental trees. Typically, the best time to prune deciduous ornamental trees is during their dormant season, which is late winter to early spring, between November and March, before any new growth begins. For flowering ornamental trees, pruning times will vary according to when they flower, and should be done to maximise the next season's flowering. As a rule of thumb, trees that flower in summer or autumn should be pruned in winter to spring, while trees that flower in spring should be pruned after flowering, in late spring or early summer, before any new buds come in. There are exceptions to this. Pruning certain species at the wrong time of year can lead to diseases, infections and other issues. Birch trees, for instance, should only be pruned from late summer to midwinter to prevent bleeding of sap. Always check first whether it's the right time to prune. Depending on what you're pruning, you'll need one or more of the following. Secateurs for pruning smaller branches, loppers or shears to extend your reach and for the bigger branches, a pruning saw for even larger branches, protective gloves and any other protective gear where appropriate. Make sure your tools are clean, sharp and in good condition. You may also need a ladder to increase your reach if your tree is very tall. Before you start cutting, always consider what you want to achieve by pruning. A lot of ornamental trees will benefit from some occasional maintenance pruning, as well as some formative pruning, to keep them healthy and encourage a good natural shape. Formative pruning is the process of shaping a tree when it is young in order to create a balanced framework of branches when it is older. Most gardeners can do this themselves. Your first cuts should be to remove any dead, diseased or damaged branches. This is perhaps the most important reason to be pruning an ornamental tree. So if you only prune for one reason, make sure it's this one. For dead wood, make a clean cut just outside the branch collar, which is the swollen area where the branch meets the trunk. If the branch is diseased, damaged or broken, cut it back to healthy wood which should not be black or discoloured. To prune a branch correctly, make a cut just above an outward facing healthy bud or side shoot, so that a new branch will grow outwards rather than inwards. Try to cut at a 45 degree angle if you can. Also keep an eye out for any branches that are crossing or rubbing against each other, as these should be removed to prevent disease and overcrowding. Branches growing inwards towards the centre of the tree may also need to be removed. While pruning, always keep in mind the tree's natural growth habit and make sure to step back regularly to get a good look at the shape of your tree. Pruning should be done to accentuate a tree's ornamental features and natural shape. Unless your tree is a topiary or is designed to be sculpted into different shapes, we advise against over pruning or creating an unnatural appearance for your tree. Some species do not take well to heavy pruning, so if in doubt, it's always best to prune in stages over multiple seasons if you are significantly reducing the overall size of your tree. If your tree is old or very large, you may want to prune for reasons other than general tidying. If your aim is to reduce the height or spread of a tree's crown, avoid simply topping, as this can lead to weak and unnatural growth. Each branch should be carefully pruned back while retaining the natural shape of the tree. This is called crown reduction. If the canopy is too dense and shading itself, you can thin out crowded branches to allow more light and air circulation within. This is called crown thinning. If the tree is taking up too much space at ground level, you can consider removing some of the lower branches to create more room beneath the canopy. This is called crown lifting. Crown reduction, crown thinning and crown lifting all require knowledge and experience to carry out safely and correctly. If in doubt, we recommend consulting a professional tree surgeon. Always remember to take your time, prune with care and enjoy your beautiful tree for years to come. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to watch our other video guides for more tree care advice.